Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So on the Ethereum chart, the market, um, well, the, the market has failed to break out really yesterday. We haven't even broken out mm -hmm. of the upper boundary line of the trend channel. Bitcoin did that actually, but failed to sustain. But Ethereum didn't even manage to really generate that, um, sh sh generate that sustained breakout really. Okay, so Ether failed. Bitcoin again also didn't sustain, but at least tried to break above the upper boundary line. So Ethereum continues to be weaker. We continue to move within a trend channel here. You can see this um, choppy price action in this channel overall. You can see that um, especially there are two channels here. I'm not sure how, so how important the larger one is, but the smaller one that is showing us a direct downtrend is definitely relevant. So we continue to be in the, in the local downtrend. With yesterday's move, we haven't even taken out a previous swing high. We haven't even taken out a trend line that's, that's relevant. And well, therefore, the market is not yet giving us that clear signal that we are indeed moving up in this fifth wave that we've been watching for. We're still moving in, in the support range and the support range remains relevant. Okay, so it's not, I, ca I can't give you a new support area. It remains relevant for the entire move here for this wave four. At the moment, I've labeled it that way that the wave four is over, but please understand that this is very, let's say low probability or balanced probability, I should rather say. We could start to move up from here, but then really it needs as an immediate turnaround to the upside. It needs an immediate turnaround to the upside. The only way how I can really label that wave five, like, as, you know, as it's developed now, is as an ABC structure. That's anyway what, you know, what it what it's doing because we're dealing with a diagonal pattern. Because we're dealing with a diagonal pattern, this here would be obviously this was wave one and three waves. You know, this rally into the April high, wave two to the downside <clears throat> into the May low, then here. Um, a third wave to the upside, which topped around the 23rd of May, around 3930. And now this wave four, but the third wave is also an ABC structure. So the fifth wave is also an ABC structure. Okay. So the way to really deal with this is to understand that the fifth wave would probably consist of various ABCs. So therefore, a three wave rally, like the one we've seen, isn't necessarily a problem, but it still needs to hold a higher low in the pullback and then set up for a C wave rally, which isn't happening yet. Okay, so yeah, it's ha it has ha uh, been holding a higher low now, but I don't have a clear long trade setup from here. I'm just pointing out the potential. This can easily get invalidated because of the three wave nature of the rally and because of the fact that we're still in this descending channel. A C wave rally to the upside from here um, could start, but only as long as we're holding above 3430. What happens below that level? The next lower FIB level, next support is at 3337. And this is the 50% retracement. And one more low would then probably complete the C wave. At least that is a possibility that we say this might just get another low. Okay, in a wave C of Y of four. So it's either the way I've structured that C wave in yellow, which looks strange given the proportions, it's valid, but now taking into account that three wave rally without a clear breakout makes it questionable. So I definitely wouldn't be surprised if we get another low here, but we're currently holding just above a key support, which is a 38.2 retracement at 3,471. So I think today that 3,471 level is, is relevant. It, it is relevant as a, um, let's say, key support level. Then we have the invalidation point just below at 3,430. And then the next support, which could be a target for Blue Wave 5, at 3,337. Any further, or let's say, if, if we want to increase the likelihood for that yellow count, then I need to see a break above the A wave high at 3,660. That's the next level to watch to the upside, and then we can take it from there. But at the moment, we're just caught in the chop. Continued movement in corrections. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, 
and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.